like in, within the next 10 years china is going to go completely like under and a lot of the people are going to die and they're just going to become like not a superpower so you're telling me that people who drink at bars and hang out at bars are losers of course respected because they are <laughs> you can pay a company to kidnap you like randomly in your life so you well, give not... them money <laughs> no, I mean, you give like, them money to, like, and then randomly money. they'll show up like they won't do it right away they'll show up like maybe a couple of years later in your life and they'll just kidnap you and like by that time you might forget yeah. <laughs> you know that cockroach can survive several weeks without a head yeah no I you knew that? Know that no i didn't so apparently when it gets cut off the cock like their head the cockroach is able to cauterize its neck Welcome back to another episode of Boropod. Man, so much news right now. Have you been looking at the news lately? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I don't really I like remember. to get into the news. Yeah. You don't like it? Okay, neither do I, but this, this is crazy. Yesterday, I looked on Google News, and the first thing that popped up is a Chinese balloon, a spy balloon is flying over my house. I was like, what the heck? Because, okay, Montana, not necessarily my house, but it your got, backyard basically yeah pretty much in my backyard but what in the world like yeah. <laughs> how does that even happen how does america I... let a chinese satellite balloon go across and like into the border yeah i, I don't know why they didn't shoot it down yet too like oh come on. okay apparently the reason they didn't shoot it down uh i saw this from like a source from Joe, like I don't remember what exactly news source, but I said J Joe Biden said that they didn't shoot the balloon down when it was like flying over continental America is because it could cause damage to like citizens or civilians down below. Because if they shoot it down, like chunks can fall down and hurt people or something like that. Okay, but it's a balloon, right? The only way in reality they could shoot it down, just, like safely, is just by shooting down the balloon, right? You just tear the balloon, and it's just gonna fall. Right. right, and then the stuff that falls down can cause damage to people. But they could find a place where it's not going to do that. Like, this is yeah. all of America we're talking about. This right, like, like, there's so much empty space. Like, America might yeah. have, what, like, 30% like of the land which is, like, occupied by people. Probably that's, even less. That's stretching it. That's, yeah, yeah, that's stretching it. It's definitely less. Yeah. But it's... It's a interesting excuse. Like, what do you think? What's the real reason that they didn't shoot it? I've down? actually seen this: is that they can't shoot it down because um, it could have like biological weapons on board mm -hmm. or like nuclear stuff. I've saw that online, but like, you know, that, that's also kind of stretching. Yeah, I know? saw, I saw another thing online where it said, "Oh, they have biological warfare on there, so if they shoot it down, it's gonna rain." covid part two on america or something like that i think my my sister might have said something like that to me but it's i don't think i don't think china would do that necessarily because that's pretty stupid america would right away cause a war or something like that over that so what why is america letting that happen that's literally right over there like, it's a spy satellite like okay like, technically it wasn't a spy satellite like Beijing stated um, that it was used for scientific research and it yeah. was for meteorology and it got like swayed out of the Chinese path and like somehow ended up in America. It's like, there's, how do you accidentally miss, how do you miscalculate 3000 miles into a different country? <laughs> like, yeah. I heard that there's a second one that's coming as well. Really? It's like over Mexico or something. That's that's interesting because, dang, is China just going wild right now? They yeah, it's over no Latin more. America. It's, it's over yeah. Latin America. They don't care no more. They're sending yeah. balloons everywhere. They're playing Balloon Tower Defense 5 now. <laughs> they're, they're scoping out. And America, out. America <laughs> almost lost. Land. They got it right on the coastline. They shot it down <laughs> right in time. They, didn't, they won the level. But it's funny. They America let the balloon go all the way across... The entire nation like take pictures everywhere send it back to china and then on the coastline uh south carolina or north carolina they shot it down into the ocean it's like okay good job you just let them scout out the whole entire nation and then shoot it down well where is it right now 
It's gone. They shot it down. Oh, they already? It's already? It's yeah, I'm pretty sure they shot it down. I saw it on the I, news. Oh, really? It yeah. went that fast? Dude, it goes. It was like, I think it was noticed on Thursday or something like that. Chinese Shot spy down balloon. the suspected Chinese balloon over the Atlantic Ocean off the eastern seaboard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one over Latin America, apparently. So, you know, I what does it say about game. that? They just say that it was spotted. Um, is it the same exact <clears throat> excuse that it's a meteorite? Three three hours ago. I, I'm not sure if China actually said anything about it. It was Beijing that said it, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. China. It's a city in China. Put out a another sur- Chinese surveillance balloon flying over Latin America. Pentagon says. <laughs> When it was spotted in Montana, like Billings, Montana, there's actually a um, a military base over there, like a huge one. So that's why it's kind of questionable that it was a meteorology, like a meteorologist uh, balloon or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I so, heard that too. And my sister has a friend that lives over there. And I don't know if this is true, but she said like, she went outside and she could literally see it from where she was standing, the balloon. Which she might be just like over exaggerating because it's 60,000 feet above yeah. the earth. So I don't know if you can necessarily see that, but yeah. It's definitely it's, sketchy. You'll see something, but it'd just be really tiny, probably. Really, what do you think really China? Tiny. What do you think China's up to? Uh, they're, uh, Trying to find a new home base. You're trying to invade America, you're saying? <laughs> I don't know about America. They're just, they're just like, <laughs> we have all your info. We can do whatever we want, basically. Right. They do definitely need a new home base or some sort of like allies because China's terrible place for like yeah. resources and everything, and for agriculture. They have such a huge population, and they have no food no resources so they have to import all that yeah. stuff and they're they're complete importers of everything yeah they, it's they definitely it's definitely dangerous though they can i was listening to a podcast on joe rogan and one of the his guests said that like in, within the next 10 years china is gonna go completely like under and a lot of the people are gonna die and they're just gonna become like not a superpower i don't know if that's pretty extreme like in 10 years it's like a massive country like that just completely going under i can't necessarily see that but you know the future always surprises us yeah it's like they're definitely in a sticky situation right now i think they're they're kind of working out of desperation they're like doing a bunch of dangerous or risky stuff and they're just doing that because they know they're in trouble especially with their leader he's xi jinping yeah he's kind of dumb he doesn't so. listen to yeah he doesn't listen to anyone and just wants to like everything to go smoothly for him you know like if some one of his officials comes with bad news he kills them right away he doesn't want to You're listen kidding. to it well that's what people are saying like american propaganda i don't know if that's necessarily true but they they say that whenever someone brings him bad news that he like kills them or like treats them terribly puts them in prison and you definitely see that with like a bunch of billionaires going missing, a bunch of officials going missing, just random people. He's yeah, I actually heard about that where like billionaires just missing and then they're just you know. But he's, it was I I think they were like guy. taking I think they were like talking against the Chinese government. I think that's what was going on. Right, they were, like, and they were showing that's stupid little, that he you know, does that. Yeah, just showing a little bit of. I guess like rebellion, rebellious behavior. Have you seen the social, um, so what is the social credit system that they have going on? I, I have heard about it, but like not much. Like I don't know the information about it. Do you know anything? Well, I, I know a little bit, but like uh, speak your they, mind. They check your expenditures. They check your, um, your attitude about China, about how you speak about Xi Jinping, mm-hmm. how you speak about the communist. Yeah, um, communist like the party 
So they check everything and then they give you like um, a social credit you a, score. Yeah, so they give you a score and then like based on that score is what you're allowed to do. Like if you're allowed to travel, you're allowed Dude. to do all this stuff. If you're allowed to buy, how much money you're allowed to spend. I'm not sure if the, the money is spent, but I know that travel is part of it. That's so travel. That's so sketchy. Yeah. That would be such a terrible life. Do you think that's going to move over to America? I mean, if I don't know. I mean, it depends how it goes. If we keep on heading towards the direction we are right now, probably. Because yeah. we've talked about this before, how the government's becoming more and more like... Not, like in, invasive of our rights and stuff. Like they're trying to take yeah. control. And people yeah. are just allowing that to happen. Yeah, it's literally happening every single day. Every single yeah. new law comes Dude. out and they just take a little bit. Oh, how would life be if we just like had a social credit score? That sucks so bad. It would. It's like... It, I'm not, like that's like the metaverse about or communism, something. When you think about communism, like what do you think? Like what's first comes up in your head about everybody having the same same amount and everybody being equal lazy what comes that's right away what i think really? laziness yeah no that's or not false utopia i don't know that's not what comes in my head um but when i think of when i think of that it's like it's like there's everybody's the same like why would you even want to like like how is that good like how is everybody being the same good i understand that like poverty <sighs> is not very good but right as well Probably it's a great good. concept like having everyone live a good life and everything and not experience poverty but at the same time it's not practical with human nature because human nature i don't like everybody having food i understand but like how you how hard you work life is life right it's not supposed mm-hmm. to be fair to everybody <laughs> not yeah. necessarily that way no it, it's that's no it's definitely true like that's life not supposed is how to be. You're, you're put in a situation and you got to get out of it like ever since you know people have different years ago yeah like like where they were hunting or they were being hunted by lions like like let's be real you were put in a bad situation there's possible chance that you were gonna die like that's like strong survive for a reason yeah <laughs> strong survive for a reason yep um, <laughs> speak speak the truth <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, you have no idea what to say. <laughs> I, I I know what to say, but like, yeah, strong survive for a reason. Why? It, um, what what is it called? Evolution? Who's who's the guy called that created evolution? The guy that God. said <laughs> no. Okay, no, I mean the guy that uh, survival of the fittest. Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? Survival, yeah, yeah, there you go, survival of the fittest. Do you know who it was? Ah, oh, shit, we learned about this in school. I know. Yeah, I completely forgot. The, the fittest creator. Herbert Spencer. Oh, that, that does not. Darwin. Darwin, right there. Darwin. Darwin. Darwin's yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's just how life is. I mean. So, wait, so you asked me the question what I think about when I hear the term communism. Wait, what did no, you say? No, when you think about, like, communism, like. like the communism. idea of it, right? Yeah, just the idea. Wait, of what it. did you say you, you thought about? Because I kind of missed it. Uh, well, I was, like, being equal. Like, like being Uh-oh. equal to other people on money wise, like, like there's no competition. There's no, there's no nothing. So you're just yeah. sitting in, you're just sitting, you're basically a loser. Well, the reason I said laziness, it kind of, uh, definitely what you said, loser. But the reason I said laziness is because like when everyone is equal, you definitely, have people that try to take advantage of the system there's gonna be those hard-working people that always have that in them to like kind of like push themselves to the limit but then there's people that are gonna be taking advantage of it getting the same amount of money and then just like working less hard and everything so i think that's definitely not beneficial for a nation to have communism because they won't have that expansion and like people trying to like innovate new st- technology and stuff for their own beneficial gain you know what I mean? Do you think... Well, they still had jobs. I don't, I don't think you could really slack off. I know in the Soviet Union, I don't think you could really slack off at work. Maybe, could but you? like... There's definitely people that didn't work as hard as other people, you know? 
Well, as hard, I understand, but like, I don't think anybody worked as hard at that point. Everybody just didn't care enough. Everybody's like, I'm a doctor, you know, I work till five. I don't really care. Or, or like I, a person yeah. that works at the store, we don't have any more eggs. What am I going to do about it? Or, you know, that's how it was because they never had bread. They just never had bread at the store. Like, right? It was always a short no of everything. It took years for cars to buy cars. It took years for sofas. I heard that at the that you order a sofa years ahead of time, like uh, capitalism is definitely way better for our country's yeah. growth. Yeah, if that's what you're getting at, well, it's like yeah, a, it's just so much slower in the communist. Yeah, uh, like we were saying, production doesn't go as smoothly or as quickly because people don't care as much because they're not benefiting by going quick. It's to get the same same wage and everything. It's like. Um, regular employees in today's world like what's the point of them to, like to work hard or to like well they'll get fired if they won't if they don't no do like it. they just like do the what they're required but like yeah. not go over the top like they're just like oh okay I'll just oh, do that's that that's fine yeah and that's probably how that's it was fine. over there as well yeah that, realistically. but the thing the thing is right here companies are literally made to make profit mm-hmm. if a company doesn't make profit they're gonna make some changes you know, like that's that's bad if they don't make profit. Their whole point is to make profit. Government, on the other hand, like there's a little bit more slack to it because it's people that work in the government. People, oh, they just can't get done. Like uh, that's yeah. that's what happens. Like because you know the government is really, really good at spending money. Have you seen? Um, <laughs> have you seen the military budget? They're very good at it's spending required. money. Of course, of course. They need to make tanks and of course. Uh, fighter just for ukraine they're giving them away like it's cookies or something <laughs> oh oh yeah they need them uh, please send them please send some more please <laughs> zelensky we'll just keep sending them <laughs> f-22 can, can we get some f-22s over there anyways nice keep on going <laughs> no reason yeah. to talk about that hey i rep ukraine though <laughs> of course my necklace actually broke Really? Mine keeps breaking, but I fix it every single time. Uh, this thing right here. It's like... The clip? This, yeah. yeah the I just clip. I, I bend it, it in. Back. Yeah. yeah. I was like, take it off, and it's just yanked with, with my shirt. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah, so, like, companies are made to make money. Government is more lenient. They, uh, they just won't, like, just won't do it, because they're not really necessarily made to make money. They are, but it's... It's not like a push, like yeah, you know, push to make money. It's a different sort of. Um, oh, I just press. It's different sort of. Different sort of. Um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I believe you. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Dang, that's crazy. We went from Chinese spy balloons to communist first capitalism. <laughs> that's what's up. Anyways, let's go into the Bible verse of the day. So we got, hear me out right here, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2, verse 15 through 17. I think I pronounced that correctly. But, what sorrow awaits you who make your neighbors drunk? You force your cup on them so you can glow over their shameful nakedness. But soon it will, it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come drink and be exposed. Drink from the cup of the Lord's judgment. And all your glory will be turned to shame. So, what I understand from this verse is that God is allowing you to drink from a cup of alcohol. So, alcohol is allowed by the Bible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> you just Wait. went along. No, I'm just kidding. It's allowed. I don't know if it's allowed. No, just when I was reading that, I was like, I saw a drink from the cup of the Lord's judgment. I don't know. I just, I said, come drink and be exposed. I just kind of clicked in my head. But anyways, that's not what it means. And I mean, it's allowed, but it said not to. It says, uh, doesn't it say in the Bible? It doesn't quite make sense. You well, just I'll, said. I'll I'll speak. It says, "Don't drink and follow me instead." Right? It, like mm-hmm. in a sort of word, other way, but that's basically what it says. So, it said like it says not to, but then also God created uh, wine on a wedding day. You know, 
Like Jesus people make did, that yeah. excuse. But anyways, so that verse, I think, um, really talks about what is it called? It's, it's not really hypocritical. It's sort of like I guess it could be hypocritical. You you're not gonna do it, but you're you're like providing it for somebody else. Is that hypocritical? I wouldn't say so. I think it's just benefiting off okay. of someone else's sin. Yeah, I guess but so. you're providing the sin, you know. Well, yeah, benefiting yeah. off some. Like, what do you mean by that necessarily? Like, what type so, of context? Let's say, let's say I cre- I open a bar, right? I'm mm-hmm. Christian. I'm not gonna drink there, but I'm gonna create a bar and I'm gonna sell beer, and I'm gonna watch all of these losers that drink at my bar. <laughs> <laughs> that I provide, I provide all the alcohol, and I create like, you know the sales, and uh, I'm gonna watch them, and I'm gonna make fun of them. I'm like they're not going to heaven. Look at them, look at them. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, uh, and it says that that's wrong. It does. So you're telling me that people who drink at bars and hang out at bars are losers? Of course. Respected, because they are. <laughs> You have really you have nothing better to do on a Saturday evening, or Saturday night. Like go to sleep. You got church in the morning, you know. <laughs> Over there, drinking, talking to random people, going home with them, and doing promiscuous promiscuous activities. I said that wrong both times, but promiscuous. <laughs> per, promis, how do you say it? Promiscuous. Promiscuous. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. But anyways, yeah, that's what you do. It's unbelievable. Imagine. Anyways, when are we gonna open up our own bar? <laughs> Nightclub, I think is better. Nightclub? You think that's yeah. also bad to open up? I mean, it does have a bar in there. Anyway. <laughs> that's, that's the problem about it. <laughs> nightclub? I mean, wait, nightclub is just a club where a bunch of people go to hang out and then they also drink. Yeah. Right? That's not the okay. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> night yeah because i think nightclubs are like what la those like la parties yeah. and stuff that yeah, people meet like up nightlife nightlife yeah type of thing. it's like clubs it's um i yeah. feel like those are so boring i don't know maybe just my type of personality that i don't like doing that type of stuff but just going to like nightclubs and stuff it just seems like I it seems like, like i wouldn't have fun stories yeah i saw a couple of stories and you just look like there's like videos of people out there. They just all look like losers. Yeah. And if you're offended, you're a loser. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so I, I don't know. They all look like losers. I don't know what to say. So yeah. So we said what's wrong about this verse by like watching or benefiting off of someone else's sin. So you open up a casino a bar a nightclub and you watch people sin and you profit off of that and you don't just just let me keep going let me keep going just let me keep going (laughs) and you're profiting off that stuff but you yourself know that's bad and don't do it we know that's like frowned upon by this verse but what would you do to like fix that behavior or like what's the right action to do in the situation when you see someone else sinning or like doing activities that you know are not good by the laws of the Bible. I mean, if you're not providing it, if you're not providing that sin, like, like, you know, you're not providing the alcohol. You know, you're not a drug dealer. If you're not mm-hmm. providing it, you try. You do your best. You know, you do your best to explain to him. But you know, at some point, that person's gonna push back, and if he pushes back hard enough, you, that's his choice. Yeah. Like you, you tell them to stop, you give them the reasons why you should stop and like a path to change their ways. And at the end of the day, like you can't do much more. Like you just, you should tell them that's wrong, give them a path of guidance or whatever. And then it's their choice after that. Maybe they'll set off a spark, but in reality, it most likely won't. It's very hard to break away from those types of things unless if it's a massive like shock to your life. Like that's yeah. the only type type of things that usually fix people. You know, they should make kidnapping legal. There is. You can pay a company to kidnap you like randomly in your life. So you well, give not, them money. 
<laughs> no, I mean, you give like, them to, money, like, take and then to... randomly they'll show up. Like, they won't do it right away. They'll show up, like, maybe a couple of years later in your life, and they'll just kidnap you, and, like, by that time, you might forget. <laughs> Have you heard about that? <laughs> sure, no. But I think I should do it. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, my. I imagine, like imagine they're coming to kidnap you, and you just beat them all up accidentally because you forgot. Yeah, good luck when you're by yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Imagine you just beat them all up. Imagine you shoot them. Imagine you kill them. Okay, let me read this. According to the getkidnapped.com, <laughs> kidnap app is both an app and a social network. Members who wish to be kidnapped are called waiters and pay four ninety nine per month for the privilege of scheduling their own abductions. <laughs> four ninety nine. That's five hundred bucks or four four dollars. Four 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 dollars ninety nine cents per month. Oh, that's worth it. I mean, they can just say, oh, yeah, we'll get you and then never get you in your life. And you just pay them for 99. <laughs> it seems like a scam. <laughs> Yo, actually, we need to create that kind of scam. Pyramid scheme. But yeah, what were we talking about? The Bible. Verse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When you were talking about, oh, my. Oh, shoot, what was I saying? Something about something about kidnapping. Oh, we oh. should make kidnap illegal to uh, what's it called? Like, uh, what are they called? This, this, you know, when you have when you have an alcohol problem, they can take you to alcohol anonymous. No, it starts with an R. Rehab. <laughs> Rehab. Rehab. There you go. I I, I couldn't remember the word, but anyways, yeah. Like I think rehab could should be forced sometimes. And a lot of the time, it kind of is in a way, like the family of the individual. Really. That's I guess no, because when you're above eighteen, like you can't you force someone leave. to. Yeah. You just leave. That's if you get like in trouble with the law, then you have either the choice of going to rehab or jail or not. I don't remember what the exact word for it is. And at that point, you can't leave. That's the only way. Huh. So you I, think? Well, the thing is. But if you kidnap someone, are they really gonna change? No. Probably not. Most likely not, because that's not something that comes to like shock their life. Like as I said I before. I mean, kidnap. Well, someone, afterwards you realize it's your life. It is if it's real, but at that point you'll realize, oh, it's just rehab, and then these people can let me go now. Unless <laughs> but if this it's isn't like some... rehab. Boof. It's not rehab. I mean, in that case, then yeah, it could definitely fix someone. <laughs> if it's like a organization of like mobs that kidnaps random people and like improves their lives, <laughs> at that point, that definitely could cause a difference in someone's life. I, I think we need to we need to make one. All right, we need, we need to create one, and we say. Uh... You think that's our position to do that? <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna be bringing good to this world. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's what you think. I mean, I just, I just feel like it would be fun. Kidnapping people. I mean, like, if, imagine like planning that out for like a person. Let's say for the what would you teach them? Five dollars to uh, teach them. Yeah. So when you kidnap them, like, what would you do to improve their lives or whatever you're trying to do? Well, I, I just don't think that uh, electro therapy. Electrotherapy? What in the world is electrotherapy? Did you uh, gonna shock them? Is that a thing? Or is that just... It's real. Well, it's like a sort of a... a torture device? Torture, yeah. Sort of torture. Hmm. But it doesn't like, actually work. I mean, I, yeah, it's a... I mean, there's actually... What is it, electro pulse thingy? I don't remember what it is, but you put it on like certain muscle groups and it just makes your arm like twitch yeah. like over and over again. Like I yeah. apparently sometimes that helps as like rehabbing your muscles. Yeah, imagine putting finding the right uh what's it called? Um like synapses or the right right part of your brain that's gonna turn off the dopamine or the addictive part. Addictive part from a something specific let's say you're addicted that'd to be sick they like, that'd take be it out really yeah. good thing yeah 
they take out the addictiveness and the dopamine that hits your brain and you just don't not the, the dopamine same. just the action like effect i mean sorry effect the, yeah the like the addictive the nature of that because dopamine is going to make your life boring if you take that out well okay like, but no i'm just saying for that specific thing let's say when you drink al- alcohol it takes out the dopamine and the thing and is it stops the effect dopamine from alcohol versus dopamine from let's say getting the ice bath is the same thing it has the same reaction and that's why it's not healthy to like have a something that provides dopamine that's like easy to get because when you, you get an ice bath that's hard to do f- for your ba- brain and for your body and like you don't want to do it but it provides like a good amount of dopamine but stuff like alcohol or masturbation that's easy to get like a bunch like a dopamine hit and it's like unhealthy for the body to do something like that that's easy to get that or no, even like scrolling through shorts that, that's what yeah. i'm saying they turn off the dopamine specifically when you drink like like when I you don't drink, know if that's possible well that's what i'm saying if they figure it out i guess i don't know like if they find the part of the brain that releases the dopamine and they stop i'm it here for you drinking. hopefully they find it so whenever you drink like your body automatically like or something on your wrist i don't know it's probably going to be done by ai or something and when you mark drink, of the beast <laughs> i'm kidding I don't, know, I don't know but when you drink they turn it off and like it doesn't affect you the same way so you wouldn't really want to so it's kind of gonna like trick your brain like why am i yeah. drinking anyways it could be a permanent solution if like it's yeah uh, that'd be nice definitely fix society cause less crimes and stuff all of society fix all you of just society. need to put a woman's body count on their foreheads and that'll fix society <laughs> that'll, that'll fix most of the problems most of the problems between men at least yeah very smart person said that so he's still in jail yeah it's crazy they still haven't let him out they just keep on extending it with no like yeah. real evidence against them there, there is no evidence it's i don't understand how that's allowed like you have a 30-day probation thing and you don't fa- find anything it's like it's dumb it's usually proven or guilt or innocent until innocent. proven guilty but like for him they're literally put him in jail so he doesn't go anywhere and then trying to find evidence against him yeah well and it the, started uh, like last summer they started the investigation and they're allowed to keep him in there for 180 days or 120 days i think and then they have to let him go they have to let him go if they don't provide any evidence or if they don't sue him like, like actually put sue charges him on him charges oh on him. okay they press any charges so um and they're both american citizens and the funny thing is if it was anyone else america or some other country that he was a citizen or has like citizenship status in they would have definitely done something against it if he wasn't so controversial yeah. but the since thing is, he has a bunch of citizenships yeah so and none of the countries care like them. no one cares except i guess the the men that are his fans but like what are they gonna yeah. do cause riots like that's not gonna do anything I mean, you saw what happened in Mexico when one of the, what it was it El Chapo or I think it was El Chapo, was it El Chapo's son? Mm, like recently? It was like a week or two, two. Oh, then yeah, I think it was El Chapo's son. Yeah, El Chapo's son, he got arrested for the second time already. He got arrested two times. And there like was father, massive, like son? Yeah, there was massive stuff going on. It was like absolute warfare in Mexico and they let him go. Why? Like once. I don't know if they let him go the second time. They're like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. That's a yeah, different. No, the Mexican, Mexican it's government different is like, though. Mexico is run by cartels. That. The government's scared of the cartels. In Romania, it's not that big of a thing. Yeah, I, I know, but still, like, if most of the people, you know, revolt, they're like, yo, chill out, give them back. I don't think they <laughs> care that much, honestly. No. It is what it is. Yeah, but. I mean, yeah. Sucks for them. What do you, what do you think is the right thing to teach little kids? Like elementary school students. Like, what do you teach them? You teach them. You teach them the necessities of, um, you know, math. You teach them a little bit of math. You teach them how to write, how to read. You teach them. 
Just the basic. You said preschool or like elementary? No, nah, just all the way up yeah, to elementary grade. school like that. I that mean, range. You just, you just teach them basic stuff that you learn at school, like. That's... So you think just like academic stuff, like yeah, academic. math, English, writing, reading, like sure. science, and the basics. For sure. You don't think you should get into anything like race, like race. You don't think you should teach them anything about race? No. What about what what do they need to know? Very true. Because kids usually at that age, they don't see differences in other people. They're like, oh, I see someone that's a different color than me. They don't care. It's afterwards. Like certain people get like, I guess... They get I upset. think it's the outside pushes. But... Yeah, that causes them to like, get angered at different races and stuff. So, yeah, I guess yeah, that's true. You so... shouldn't teach little kids anything like that. Not only that, what else are they teaching in schools? I think they okay, like, so the stuff. reason I asked you that is um, in Florida, the governor was like... Um, so pretty much there was a law that was passed or something like that that during Black History Month, they want to do like teach about like race and like maybe like the differences between people or like the culture or lifestyle like the history of african americans and like white people and stuff and that's not necessarily like a bad thing you definitely should probably teach the history just so people know that but it just it depends how far they go because there was a story about a school that literally had the black kids um pretty much targeting the other white children and making them feel the same way that the white people back in the days were treating the black people. Like, so they pretty much redid that whole entire scene in schools, which I think that's way too far and that's not a good thing to do. But anyways, they were going to teach this like race theory. You just said that the black people treated white people like slaves. Yeah, that's in school, they had the black kids treat the white kids how in like the 1700s or 1800s, whenever there were slaves, how the white white people were treating the black people like the slaves. Like they were uh, calling them slurs, um, making fun of them, like everything like that. That was allowed in school. Yeah, because they, they were teaching. That. Yeah, they were teaching how um, life was back then. And obviously, you can't have the white kids do the same thing to the black kids. So they, like, reverse the roles, trying to simulate the same exact thing. <laughs> Hurts your head? A little bit. A, a little bit. I think I... Uh... The point is, I think that's way too far. And that obviously shouldn't be implemented in the school system. But with this thing, the Florida thing, they're... During Black History Month they're going to be teaching about the race and they also wanted to include like queer theory. So pretty much teaching little kids about sexuality, about like kind of experimenting with this seeing if you're gay or not. And kind of like teaching them the ways of like how gay people live and how like straight people live and stuff like that. And they're trying to sneak uh, in, that in into black their, history month during black history month. So that's, being a that's not fair, bro. They're trying to take black away history month. They're trying to take away the biggest month in America. <laughs> so, so they, they're like, no, nah, we, we want to take a part of Black History Month and we want to make it gay month. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, taking it away. But that doesn't even matter. Like, why teach little kids that, you know? Little kids don't need to know that. That is just wrong. It's just wrong. Like, as a parent, how would you feel? Dude, as a parent... Work? Yeah. He definitely my my kids will definitely not go to that kind of school. Uh they will go to a private school where I know everything that they're teaching because they're not going to be making anything stu- uh stu- any stuff up, you know, and if they do anything, they leave and they go home school, honestly. Yeah. I do not want my kids learning from uh a liberal school system. What 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 are the drag queens? I definitely don't want my kids learning from a drag queen. You know, they, you they go they go in school and they like t- say stories. Seriously? And say, I've seen videos of that. Yeah. That's just, that's disgusting. Yeah, so they and they dress like absolute like they dress <laughs> like really bad. Yeah. <laughs> they dress bad and they go into school and they like talk about 
Like yeah. how it's normal to be gay. It's uh, little kids. Like, they don't need to yeah. know that. Like, teach them the basic of Matematica. <laughs> That's not the right. The kids out here school. failing multiplication tables and they're teaching them about queer theory. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's messing up the youth, I think. Yeah. Because, yeah. Kids How do you are think? very, what's it called? Uh, what is the word? They're like elastic. Their brains are elastic, you could say. They're molded, like, open minded. Yeah, yeah, they're open minded. They're easy to manipulate, you could say. Mm-hmm. So if they're doing it on purpose and they're trying to mold the next generation into a easy to control type of easy to control generation. and very uh like like you'll see that a lot more people are going to be part of the lgbtq well yeah even right now it's i wouldn't say necessarily a trend i mean it is though at the same time like there's way more people that are coming out being a like trans like by the percentage numbers of all the generations like you can make up the excuse that it was not allowed back in the day and people were like scared about coming out so there was the same amount of people or same percentage but it was just hidden no but the thing that's not true is because it's, it's more it's popular not, to do that right now yeah. and like kids that are going through stuff going through like anxiety and depression and like have like some, some sort of mental disorder find the easy way out is to like come out as gay or something like that because it gives them way more attention not only that i think if that's a cause of depression and anxiety and all of the stuff but also depression and anxiety (laughs) i'm just kidding (laughs) depression and anxiety is also a cause to like is also an effect of all of this new stuff that's been going on to kids like molding kids brain from from young you know these shows that show really bad stuff you know there's you know this little stuff that kids even the food you eat controls your hormonal stuff everything it's all made to target people like like i don't know if it's on purpose you know probably how do you think the next generation is gonna look like what's gonna happen there's going to be a very big group of, um, you know, depressed people, very big mentally ill, like from anxiety. I mean, like mentally, like they're mentally depression, strained, yeah. depression, anxiety. They're going to have a lot of that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people with that. A lot. There's going to be, and there's going to be the effects of it. So, you know, um, Do you know that's going to cause our nation to fall apart or just be controlled by the government easier? Like, do you think America is just going to stay around or is just going to completely fall apart because of that? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's hard to know, say. Huh? There, there's a there's a wheel, uh, and when it reaches a certain point, it uh, it breaks because mm-hmm. the Roman Empire was the biggest empire. It broke. Um, every single Egyptian. empire, yeah. every single empire, you know. Uh, it 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 was a wheel, you know. It started, it went rolling, and then it broke. So you never know. I mean, but there's also I've noticed this is a big, massive group of people that can see what's going on, and they want and change. They want change. Yeah. I saw this clip that in our generation and the generation that's like I guess one below us at this point since like we're older or younger. Here? Younger. Younger. Okay. So someone said that it's super easy to kind of like put yourself above the average person in this generation that you're if you're just a savage and like relentless and ruthless you can literally stomp over all of those people and just become like successful way easier in this generation if you just like break through so pretty much just be like a savage and not care (laughs) that's what that um quote was saying and that's kind of interesting because it's definitely true that this generation is like way softer and they care too much about what other people think and yeah, what other people I, say and stuff. I think, I think we talked about this in like evolution topic that people are Maybe, turning yeah. more into like golden retrievers, like you said. Yeah. 
Yeah. Submissive, that was the word. Yeah, submissive, yeah. They're turning a lot more submissive because they're uh, – it's just naturally, like, punched into, you know, the heads. You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, food that you eat creates a hormonal, like, like effect. I never heard about breath. that. Really? Yeah, like, Dude, what do you mean, gut, like – the gut controls your attitude. The gut controls your – your I guess, yeah, there's hormones and ev- it controls your gut controls how you like feel i guess so if you yeah, eat that's bad true food, if I you eat bad food you know you feel down and you feel yeah. disgusting because even i never eat like chips or cookies or whatever i feel like garbage afterwards i don't know if that's necessarily hormones or i think what. it's partly your brain because you're just really well, yeah, used that's to, hormones though yeah you're just really used to eating like really good so you're just like oh you feel bad about it yeah. but there's also i feel like there's also like uh your stomach just doesn't like it because it's you're not meant to be it's eating. not natural yeah you're not meant to be eating it the, what i've read is that you're supposed to be eating meat like like red meat like meat uh and actually i've i was looking it fixes at, the jaw as well it does fix the jaw how you breathe fixes everything Mm-hmm. But anyways, meat the, is the more tough meat, and hard. Yeah, you you bite down on it, you chew, and it gets your jaw up. A lot of people have. Oh, yeah, we keep going. So whatever you're so, going. So, <laughs> so car- carnivore diet. I think Williams on it, right? He tried it a while ago, like maybe like three months ago or something. I heard that people that went onto carnivore diets, they no longer needed insulin from diabetes. <laughs> they every every single sickness like not like not like sickness but like let's Are, say he, was that like, Jordan Peterson that was talking about uh, that? No, I I don't I don't think so I okay. don't remember who it was but but it was like it was a study they were so there was a bunch of people that were like sick not like like crazy sicknesses but there's like like diabetes there's a bunch of people with diabetes they went on to a carnivore diet where they were eating a lot of meat and red meat is really good because it. it it has all the nutrients that you need so if you eat red meat you don't need like like nutrients like uh, like vegetables right like vegetables not bad for you but you don't need it to like you know for your body like you don't need those vitamins you're saying you don't need those vitamins necessarily okay. yeah so if you eat red meat you don't need those vitamins but if you eat i think white meat you, you're probably gonna need it yeah, because white meat isn't as nutrient yeah, dense. Yeah. So people were experiencing three hundred percent more healing, like like the healing was three hundred percent faster, and people threw away their insulin. Well, not threw away, but they didn't need any insulin. They their diabetes not necessarily went away, but like they just didn't need it because it got better. It got better for them on this sort of diet. Same thing happens with autoimmune diseases, because that's what happened with Jordan Peterson and his daughter. Like they went yeah. on an all meat diet and they fixed their their conditions or like it made it better. So that's yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm definitely gonna try it out eventually. I want to, but you know it's it's so expensive. expensive. It yeah. really is. I told I'm gonna my do mom, it once I get I a little like, bit more money. <laughs> I was like I was like I told my mom like I'm just gonna buy a whole cow and I'm just gonna cut it up. And... It's worth it to do that. If you're yeah. if you're doing it, get a whole cow like William. <laughs> yeah. He did? cow yeah, well yeah you got, got a whole pigs cow. you got pigs you got oh, i got cow, cow. yeah just show me that he gave us he a couple chunks with liver oh, and stuff cool. my dad's been cooking up liver <laughs> that's cool yeah how did he care how did he get it uh april's family like cousins or something have a ranch oh, and that's cool. they have cows so they got it from them and then butchered that's it cool. and stuff that's cool how did yeah. they transfer it? They butchered it or did William? No, some other company butchered it. And Oh, they just got the meat from it. Yeah, and then they April's parents had it. Like they, they picked it up and then they picked it up from April's parents afterwards. Mm-hmm. So they got okay. it. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't get the hide though. I don't think so, no. He didn't. No. Okay. I mean that'd be like pretty cool to go on the floor. Have you seen those? Yeah, it was like yeah. red mass or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, but he doesn't need it, I guess. You know, it'd be cool huh. having a giant bear as a rug mat, or like. Have you seen? Have you seen like the? What was it? Was it the lion? Or 
Was, it was like the head is still there, like the jaw is still there. Oh shoot! I definitely the have head. seen those type of stuff. And then like it's and then the, the body is like the leather. Lion mat. What's it called? Oh, rug. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That looks sick. Yeah, it, it's like it has like the top piece, so you could tell that it's a lion, but then it just it goes down, and it's pretty cool. I'll just show real quick. Yeah. Is that real? I have no idea. That looks real, yeah. It looks real, but I, I don't know how real it looks. It looks kind is. of fake at the same time. Yeah. Like it looks too bit. real. But, yeah. Could be fake because it's very legal to kill a lion. Right? I mean, if they're attacking you, who's going to stop you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's still illegal. For self defense? To go hunting. To go oh, hunting. Oh, to go hunting? I mean, like, yeah, like it probably go. is. Yeah, it is, because they're, I'm pretty sure they're endangered. I don't think lions are. You no, know, lions definitely are. Let's see. They're vulnerable. vulnerable. So I guess they're decreasing a little bit, but all species are decreasing slowly. Yeah. But I know tigers are uh, very, uh, it's like you're not allowed to kill them. Tigers as well? Yeah. They're on conservation status. They're endangered. <laughs> Dude, there's like so many cool animals that went extinct. Yeah, the saber tooth. Are lynxes extinct? Lynxes are still, still alive. Oh, still alive? But like what I'm looking through right now, like all the ex extinct animals, a lot of them are like massive. You know? Like why are animals back then so big? Like there was the giant bear. Which, here, let me look it up. It was like the giant. I know about the megalodon. bear from North America. Mm -hmm. what, what about the megalodon? I just know that that one was giant. Was that even real? The megalodon? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. It went extinct 1.5 million years ago. That's a long time ago. But yeah, like literally all animals back then were massive. And I mean, are they really extinct? Megalodons? Yeah. I guess yeah, we haven't explored that much of the ocean. I think how much percent of the ocean was explored? I think it was like like sixteen or something. Sixteen. I remember looking at that. Of the ocean has been explored. Five percent. Only five percent of the ocean has been explored and charted. Seven of the ocean, yeah, discovered. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a possibility, you know. There's a, Dang, there's, there's so many species then. If there's only seven percent been explored. Yeah. And all of them are dying right now because of the pollution. <laughs> yeah, that's pollution crazy. Pollution is going to crap. You think, you think the pollution affects them like very deep down because, if probably falls all the way down there. But does it actually affect? them i'm sure that it does because i don't even know honestly do you think it affects a megalodon a couple of plastic pieces yeah definitely yeah because they eat it and it gets in their system and stuff because it's not a couple pieces it's a lot that's like everywhere there's sharks that are getting like the shark population is dying like crazy right now i guess that is due to fishers like Killing a hundred million a year or whatever for shark fin soup. Yeah, it, it's. Like I'm pretty sure all of the big animals that are going extinct is because of humans. Not necessarily like megalodons. It was just like, yeah, every every animal that's going extinct is from humans. Animal, yeah, it's because they're getting hunted. Rhinos, bro, are so so yeah. so endangered that it sucks. Is all the big animals that are going extinct? Like the biggest animals are like land animals are elephants and rhinos. That's yeah. like and back then animals used to be like so much bigger like all of them i think the reason for that is is because okay this is going to be evolution i don't know if this is necessarily true but the last um i guess major wipeout of animals was like twelve thousand years ago and that was with the ice age when the mammoth got killed the saber tooth all of those animals and before then it was like 12 million years ago or something like that with the asteroids 
but apparently every single time there's like a life ending um catastrophe that happened to earth there's like millions of years of like a gap in between the next one and animals had enough time to like develop and evolution took place for them to grow really big and the reason that we don't see anything big right now is because it's been recent since the last time the world has been wiped out so animals haven't had enough time to like for evolution to happen for them to get massive so in the future when was we, when was when was the last so the last one was technic. i don't know if that was like the massive wipeout it was twelve thousand years ago when uh, the ice age happened or like the ice age was melting and that's when a lot of the animals died but yeah. last major life ending event was a couple mi million years ago so let's see five major so 65 million years ago was the last one that killed off the dinosaurs and it's like 200 million 250 360 400 million so they like animals haven't really got time to grow to the massive stages yet that's and, what, like i was researching that's what it said and plus we're we're making them all extinct the yeah. big animals as well <laughs> so yeah um sort of our fault we don't have dinosaurs how do you fix fault. that how do you fix that get rid of all the humans get rid of all the no get rid of the animals bro I mean, we need to eat. Are you kidding me? You really want to live with dinosaurs and big, like, Titanoboa, big sharks and everything like that? I got a gun. Bruh, you're going to need a tank for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do. The gun's not going to do anything. The giant centipedes. Ah, wow, bro, that's, that's crazy. Everything no, like, you get a gun. Then. You get a gun and everything dies. Like, let's be real. Or you just get a car and everything dies. <laughs> a bunch of cars. <laughs> you just, uh, nah. You just need a you pollution. Know, you know, the global people, warming. Real the people at the top. The people at the top just need a flight of jets. You know, you know. You should hope they'll all go away. No more birds. <laughs> Why do we need birds? <laughs> what for? For real. Who just needs clutter animals? up the sky? Like, be, like, what are turtles good for? You just look at them. It's the only thing. Exactly. Like, what are they good for? I guess they get stuck in their trash. That's what they're good for. <laughs> That's not even good. We have to go take them out. <laughs> no, but for real? Like, if you think about it, what is the point of animals? If they... Other than, like, cows and chickens, the stuff that you eat. <laughs> do you think the world... Do you think plants would still work without... No, I mean, bees. You need bees. There's some plants that are able to self-pollinate. But, some plants yeah still i don't know grass is grass grass does it doesn't need pollination well grass is kind of like a weed i don't know it does like grows by itself so cows, no but definitely you definitely need animals weeds. like yeah. the whole entire ecosystem that's how it runs you know there's like a cycle that goes into it it decomposes provides fertilizer and stuff yeah. like that I don't know. It's like all but together. Certain animals, technically, we don't need them. Maybe it'll like, like offset the. Mosquitoes? Yeah, technically. I don't I don't know what they what they do. I know like bats eat them. Frogs eat them. Yeah, everything eats them. That's what Fish. I guess. Fish eats them. So, yeah, just the balance of the ecosystem. That's what. I guess they're used for. I don't know. How about cockroaches? People, things eat them as well. Rats. Do you know that cockroach can survive several weeks without a head? Yeah. No, I you didn't that? know that. No, I didn't. So apparently, when it gets cut off, the cock, like their head, the cockroach is able to cauterize its neck, so the bleeding stops, so they still can survive for a couple weeks. And they'll keep on moving around because their nervous system is connected somewhere else. So they're able to move around and stuff. But eventually they'll end up dying in a couple weeks. Take a lucky guess why. No idea. You have no idea? Because they're not able to eat and drink. So they run out of nutrients and they die. Okay. And it takes them a couple weeks to die for that? 
That's what I remember saying somewhere. What if you put the head back on? Or feed it through a feeding tube? <laughs> then yeah, it'll survive most likely. I mean... <laughs> Uh, have you did you know that cockroaches like it's probably gonna be the only animal that survives uh, a nuclear war yeah they're crazy they survive anything <laughs> bro a cockro- cockroaches are probably not even from this planet they're probably from Mars maybe mushrooms are they're not from this planet mushrooms yeah. are able to survive in outer space that's the only thing that's able to survive in outer space cockroaches too cockroaches probably <laughs> <laughs> they can survive anything. The only thing that survives in outer space. I want to actually look this up. Ah, it's too much to look up. I don't even want to look through that. Okay. Oh, you just go. Do cockroaches? The cock- no, they can't survive in outer space. Survive in. But they won't be able to breathe and freeze. They They'll need freeze oxygen? to death. Probably. The cockroaches born in space were stronger, faster than their Earth cousins. Huh? Say that again. And, oh, the cockroaches born in space were stronger, faster than their Earth cousins. Like Additionally, on a space station or uh, wait, in space space? Uh, <laughs> can cockroaches survive Mars? Okay, no. Okay, yeah, they suffocate. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, apparently they're faster and more energetic and, and more resilient if they're born in space. <laughs> when they're humans are the same way. Do they actually wait? They've never done that. I know that they they form the art of getting someone pregnant in space. What do you mean? They like they like made it happen in space. Like if some astronauts did that. Yeah, <laughs> but that was like the purpose of them going to space. I think it was a husband and a wife. That nice. went up. <laughs> what a First cool people. experience. I mean, it was it wasn't public, but you know that's what they're like saying. Okay, I'm anyway. sure there's been like private thing, like organizations okay. or whatever that like have done that where a kid is born in space, but like just the public doesn't know about it. You think so? I'm sure someone's have tried it out, like some rich people seeing if it does something. What do you mean, some rich people? Nobody can go to space. What are you talking? What do you mean? About? Yeah, they can. No. That's, you're able to. You can pay for it now. Yeah, but it's like it's more like a like a trip. I don't think it's like a. <laughs> to trip, all right. Wait, okay. <laughs> when I'm just I'm speculating. I don't know. I'm just making things. I up highly here. doubt it because, uh, like, when you, when you're pregnant, you don't really like, like expect to like you know go into birth. Like, like it's out you of nowhere. Sit right? up there for a it couple just, months. It just happens. I mean, with the G-force pressing down on your stomach, I'm sure it'll happen. (laughs) Probably. Yeah. Uh, Need a C-section. Yeah. Well, you won't need it with that case. Dude, have you heard about how they're trying to make uh, the mammoth come back to life? Yeah, I actually did. Weren't Tell me about do, it then. Were they supposed to do the saber tooth? I can't hear you. Oh shoot! Were they supposed to do the saber tooth as well? They're planning on doing like ten different species, like twenty different species, like this company. Um, yeah. I'm gonna look it up. Twenty other animals. Mammoth. Yeah, I heard. I heard that they were supposed to do it by like 2027, I think. Yeah. 2024. 2024? Yeah. No, that can't be right. I searched this up. Yeah, mammothism. 2024. Okay, so... I, I think maybe the whole project, like all of the animals by 2027, maybe. Maybe. But I know they're introducing a mammoth into Siberia, and eventually they wanted to go to Alaska. So that's where it was native to before it died like 12,000 years ago. 
and Alaska? the way they're yeah so it was you know how there was a land bridge before between russia uh, and alaska yeah, yeah. so that they spread from like siberia to like alaska region because in alaska there's uh um certain farms or like ranches that people have that they're discovering thousands of mammoth bones and a bunch of like different animals and stuff but the re the way they're going to make this mammoth is they're taking an indian elephant which is close to what a mammoth was i guess like dna wise it was the closest closest yeah. closest yeah and they're somehow genetically manipulating it i don't know the exact science behind it i'm not a geneticist oh, no. but they're changing the dna and putting it into a indian elephant um embryo well, they're, yeah and they're, then they're gonna uh, like develop it that way and then they're planning on kind of like making the exhibit somewhere in siberia like that so they can see siberia or alaska siberia that's where they're introducing them in siberia and eventually they want to get it to alaska okay why don't they just do alaska because i guess that's not good enough for them like the conditions not cold enough or i guess siberia is probably the best area for them Siberia is really cold. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But it wouldn't be very, like, uh, government, like, friendly. Regulated? Uh, that's not there. Yeah, it wouldn't be really, like, government friendly. Like, like imagine, like, like it's an American company that, like, oh, we need to put it into Siberia because, you know, uh, that's the best weather. And then just Russia just takes the man of it. And says, "Get out of here! This is our mammoth now." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's our mammoth. It's a, I don't know what you're yeah, talking it's a about. It's Utah-based c- company as well. That's what I'm saying. It's like and Russia goes, "It's mine now." What are they gonna do with mammoths? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, but it's mine now. You know. <laughs> That's so wild to think about that they're gonna have like just mammoths roaming around. And you're going to be able just to view that? The thing is, you know, it's basically an elephant, so. True. Yeah, the cyber but that's is wild that they can alive. do that. Because yeah. that's literally, um, shoot, what's that movie? <laughs> Can't think of it. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Like they, they're literally doing the same exact thing. They're taking the DNA that they found and manipulating it from a different oh, it's animal. A tiger. It's a tiger, not a lion. My bad. It's a saber tooth tiger. Sorry. Saber tooth? Yeah, it's a tiger. I, I said lion. I said oh, saber tooth lion. That? And I said cyber tooth. Cyber tooth? I, so cyber truck? So, yeah, uh, of course. But yeah. Yeah, Jurassic Park. I'm here for it. Hopefully it happens. Yeah, well, uh, like, works, like the movies or, or like the Jurassic mm. actually park? Just the park. No, the movies is fine too. Yeah, just like as long as I don't chaos. get killed. As long as you don't get killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As soon as yeah. that happens, then I have a problem with it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to step in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to step in. <laughs> My life gets put in danger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I have a gun. <laughs> like what you said. Yeah. You just need to have a I gun. Mean, what's gonna stop me, right? What kind of a- what sort of animal can a stop balloon me? can stop you? A balloon? What balloon? Chinese balloons. How? Biological warfare. All right, guys. Well, we cut out that last little section. It got a little bit boring. We'll just say that. But, <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for listening, watching, and make sure to subscribe, share to other people. But we'll see you guys next time. Peace.